What up, it's your girl Minna, and in this video, we are doing another relaxing video. I know you all enjoyed my low tone the last time that we were together. So in this video, I'm going to be shaving my face. I do this once a month. It's very important. I've learned to exfoliate the skin before the shave. I did exfoliate yesterday. Ideally, I would exfoliate on camera with you, but I did it on IG stories. So if you saw it, you saw it. If you know, you know. I'm going to use a very basic brow razor. I'm also going to shave my brows because I intentionally shave off the tip of my brow to create my own arch. I've been doing this for almost 10 years now. And that's just my preference. Now, do I get any bumps, rashes after shaving? I don't. I used to because I wasn't exfoliating beforehand, but I've learned you've got to clear the pores out and then do this, okay? Do it on dry skin, although I have been spraying my face with an essence because I showered, I washed my hair, I came to the studio, I had to set up. So I had to keep my skin hydrated and not dry because dry skin is just so uncomfortable. I do want to clean my skin though before doing it. So let me take a cotton pad and also micellar cleansing water and I know I just sprayed and now I'm gonna clean I I get it I know it, to me it just sounds good okay because I just hate when my skin feels so dry so I took some others on the cotton pad and now I'm going to clean my skin now why do I shave my face because it feels good because it looks good and because I can and I like it. It looks good with or without makeup. And why not? When you go get a facial, it's one of the facial options called dermaplaning, but they use a scalpel. And obviously a scalpel should not be used at home and I don't have one. So I'm simply shaving my face. Now, if you see my face isn't terribly hairy, but it's fuzzy and I shave once a month and I've been doing this for quite a while now, maybe close to a year. Pull the skin taut in the opposite direction. Obviously being really careful under my eyes, but I do this each month, so I got a sense of where I gotta go and, and all of that. You'll note that if you miss an area, which I have done in the past, let me do the brows. I shave my brows every time that they grow. So that could be twice a week, it just doesn't matter. It's just whenever it grows, I shave it. Okay, so when you do your makeup, you'll see areas that you missed because the makeup Makeup usually creates this really smooth base on your face and then you'll see if you're looking in an up close enough mirror like an area of your face that has hair on it so I have in the past been doing my makeup and on the foundation and then have found that like whoa I have this whole area that still has hair on it so what do I do I just shave it foundations on and I just take a razor and shave it I do take a new razor each time I shave my face yeah and I just shave it like look at all that hair on my sideburns. <laughs> so it's not like I'm anti-facial hair, I'm just pro looking bomb. And like I said, this makes the skin look so good. Your skincare products will absorb a lot better, a lot faster, and your makeup will just look so good. Like, look at that. So when I go to the sideburns, I try to keep it like light-ish, you know? I don't need it to be a harsh line. We're not doing a lineup, okay? So we're not trying to create any hairline lineup type of situation. So you'll see when I go to the hairline, I try to be like, light with it. Praise the Lord. We don't want to look like a man. So I do it both ways. Some people will tell you only go down. I don't do that. I go up and down. I want all of the hair off, okay? Now I always shave my mustache, but of course I do it when I shave my whole face each month. So the mustache and the brows, I shave as the days go. There's no, you know, schedule for that. I just do it as ne as needed. The skin's gonna look a little dry, but that's fine. We're gonna hydrate and do our skincare afterward. And if you could just touch my face, it's so smooth right now. When I have my face dermaplaned, although the esthetician did a really great job, she missed places. So I just love doing everything on my own because I know how to do most things. You'd be shocked, there's a little bit of hair in this area. Now I don't go under the eye, but just here, because there is a little bit of hair in this area. And even right here, I'm gonna get, because then when I do my makeup, I notice a little bit of fuzz and I'm like, wait. So again, from doing this for several months, I just know where a light layer of hair is in some ways hidden. And I notice it when you put the foundation on. And no, it doesn't hurt. It just feels like I'm shaving. I've never cut myself from doing this because it's not like this blade is terribly sharp. Like literally, if I go like this, it's not like it's gonna cut me, but it's sharp enough to get the job done. Okay, I think I'm done, except for the forehead. All right, now this, I can really bring this like, kind of like lightly, you know? thin it out a little bit, whatever. Honestly and truly, all of your favorite celebrities, I can bet and say, get their face shaved.
And I'm just going like this because I don't want there to be a harsh line. I'm not lining my face up. So I've just learned to go like this around the hairline. <laughs> it works for me. <laughs> we don't want anything too crazy. But of course, on the forehead on Kasana, we want to make sure we, we go like this and really get it off. I am getting some flakes. I'm getting some skin off. Again, on this side, this is one of the areas where there's a little bit of hair and it will only show when I put on makeup. So I'm going to just go over it just to be sure. Look at that, that's skin, dead skin. Gather that out so it doesn't look too rough. Okay, my face feels so smooth. Now to clean up all the hair on my face, micellar water again. I guess I could go wash my face, but I don't like it. So I just do this. I had it done first, the real way, the dermaplaning way, and she didn't do my nose, so I'm just not going to. Now I'm gonna just pat my face. Let's spray again, spray this hydrating mist on my skin. No, it doesn't burn. It shouldn't burn. If you're in any way uncomfortable with this, then don't do it. Any in any way curious about this, give it a shot. I love it, and this is what I do every single month, okay? And that's that. So if you enjoyed this video, I want you to give it a thumbs up and also make sure you are subscribed. You shave your face if you've had any good experiences with it or if you've ever had dermaplaning, I would love to know. As always, glad you're here and thanks for watching.